Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about using astrology in character building, which does not necessarily have to do with believing in astrology. It doesn't matter either way. How this subject ever even came on my radar was like many things in the last seven years, due to Supernatural. There's an episode where one of the lead characters, Dean Winchester, there had been an earlier episode where he mentioned being an Aquarius, and I sort of shook my head and said, nah, that, that doesn't really fit. Y'all didn't do your homework. Then I got to this other episode, and... Once he announced his birthday, I hit pause and ranted at the TV for probably a good 10 minutes, starting with nothing at all. And I just started going off and ranting and raving. And by the end of it, as I'm saying, OK, well, this child who thinks they're responsible for everything that happens to their younger sibling and da -da 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 by the end of it, my statement was not this character is nothing like me it was how does eric kripke know me and why did he turn me into a dude when you're writing in fantasy particularly contemporary fantasy in which things like our understanding of western astrology are presumed to have some sort of value in a magical sense at least it makes sense to do your homework on your character signs because that should fit and as it turns out, it really does in this case. Sam does too. Oh my gosh, what a Taurus. Absolutely. Even if you're not writing in fantasy, though, and you're not worried about, are my readers going to have that reaction of, this can't be when my character's, this character's birthday is because they don't act anything like a fill in the blank. What it can also do is give you a sort of randomization. If you use some sort of tool to help you just pick a date, whether you have something that will let you pick that randomly, I don't know, paste 12 months up on the wall and throw darts, uh, and then pick a clock and throw darts at that to get a time of day, because you need time of birth to really do a full chart. I'm not an expert on astrology by any means, so I'm not going to explain how to create a chart. There are plenty of free things online that will help you with that. And then we'll charge you for a much more involved chart. You don't need all that necessarily, probably. I can't imagine you would. But if you want some randomization brought in, you're, you want the complexity of having some randomness that you have to then deal with in your character, then coming up with their sun sign, their moon sign, their rising sign, at least, and reading what that means according to Western astrology can give you some really interesting depth to your character. Things that might not have crossed your mind before, like this is someone who will enter conflict if they absolutely have to, but will do as much as they can to avoid it or handle things diplomatically first. Little things that might not have been the first thing that come to mind. Actually, depending on what you're writing, that probably came to mind pretty early. So I'm not doing a good job coming up with examples here. Maybe you know that your character has a difficult time handling their emotions. But in what way? Are they closed off? Are they super emotional? Is everything about trying to keep things in balance? These are things that an astrology chart will give you. And since you're doing this for the purpose of creating your character, if you're not writing in a fantasy world where you want to make sure that what if, you, if you're going to reveal the character's birthday, that it makes sense in that context. Well, then you read something, you say, that doesn't fit this character. Wonderful. You know that doesn't fit. Come up with something else. 
there was an episode of Writing Excuses mm, sometime last fall where they talked about using randomization to build complexity in your setting and your characters. It's one of the reasons I decided to generate a Minecraft world and build with as little terraforming as possible the town of Carlisle and Carlisle University. If it's too perfect, then I've made it that way because that's what's going to work for the story. But if there are things that I have to find a way to work around, that makes it feel a little more real. Same with looking at some of the traits that an astrological chart can give you on a character. They're not the things you're going to find on a standard character sheet necessarily. But they may help, especially since they're generated for you. They can potentially help you then figure out, okay, how do I fit all of these things together and make this character coherent? Since theoretically somebody who was born on this day of this year at this time would have all of these traits, it's apparently possible for this to be a coherent person. And how does this fit with my story? So I think it can be a really useful tool. It's one that I definitely have used in building my characters for this series that I'm working on. And I found it really helpful. Okay. So here is a sample report uh, using basically the first thing that I came up with when I Googled free astrology. Not a very scientific approach, that's for sure. But then none of this is particularly scientific. So give some background and overall stuff and whatever. Okay, so I gave the character the name W. It defaulted to the pronoun she, so I left it. And I decided she was born in New York on May 12th, 2002 at quarter past noon. So all of this stuff means absolutely nothing to me. If you actually know anything about astrology, it may mean something to you, though. More stuff that it means nothing to me. Okay. So this character's son is in Taurus, which is an earth sign, typically very solid, dependable, frequently stubborn. Some other traits, typically very sensual in all areas. Tend to work hard with steadiness that is generally not considered quick. Possessiveness might not have been something that I would have associated with those other traits. And then it gives a little short wrap up and what their weaknesses are. So Again, this just gives some more pieces that you might not have thought of with your character that could be useful to incorporate in some way. And by adding this element, if you're not doing fantasy, it's just for the sake of the randomness, again, just adds a little more complexity and a little more realness to the character because it's you're not only showing the traits that are directly related to either to, to the plot particularly. You don't want the only things, I think, that you know about the character to be plot relevant because then they're not as rich of a person. And then it goes into other things like Leo rising, sun in the 10th house, whatever any of this means, but little things like Ambitions and need for authority, need to be kept in check without going overboard. Conflicts due to a projection of character that does not match what's on the inside. Misrepresentation of the self can be frequent. Ooh, that could be interesting to incorporate into a character.
apparently I managed to put her moon in Taurus also. She's very romantic. Affections run strong, deep, and unwavering. A serenity that is calming. You get the picture. Useful to have if you are writing in fantasy so that those readers who are paying attention to this sort of thing keep a sense of this person being cohesive. And if that's not what you're doing, then it can just give you additional little characteristics that you might not have thought of otherwise that can just enrich the character a bit. Have you used any kind of tools like that before, whether it's astrology, whether it's whether you're rolling up a character like you're in D&D to get some of their traits without having it be because you think this is what's going to fit the story so that it gives you a little more to work around? Any kind of tools like that or random character generators. Those exist. Um, I met somebody once who wrote their entire na nano novel with a with generated characters, a generated plot, a generated setting, and just ran from there. I have no idea how they did that. But have you used any of those tools? I would love to hear about it. So please let me know down in comments or on Discord, which will be linked below. That's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.